Hi everyone, this is Karen. Welcome to Northeast Iowa. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. I'm going to do um, things that have inspired me from my childhood and I didn't really realize how many of these things have inspired me so it was kind of a fun experience for me to go through also. And this is um, a hashtag from Chasing Retro for her anniversary, I think it was. I'm not sure. I'll tag it in the comments below. Um, I collected everything in a box that I have here at my side. So I'll go ahead and get started with Little Miss Kitty. Um, this is something that I had, have had since I was a baby. It's a soft skin of quality. Um, and it has softy foam in it. I thought it'd have a year, but it does not. I guess, uh, like, according to my mom, they used to put the bottles in here and then lay it by the baby so the baby could eat by themselves and the mom didn't have to hold them. But, uh, look at these gorgeous colors. The green and the pink and the white. Um, yeah, that is totally me. So, this is something... Um, I think this is part of why I like such different funky colors, according to my friends. But yeah, I think this is super cute. She's obviously well-loved. Um, let's see. And then I have a couple of books that I remember from my childhood. Um... So a couple of easy readers and a couple of these take-along books. So yeah, uh, this one here, Colors and Colors, it talks about how they mixed colors and painted a fence. And again, I think this is why I like my different combinations of colors because of that. Um, Barney the Beagle, I always loved this because my... Um, my grandpa P, grandma, grandpa P had Barney the dog. I always thought he was a beagle, but I guess he was a wiener dog. Uh, I was like seven the last time I saw Barney, so that explains it. Um, this one, yeah. And then Miss Polly's Animal School. Yeah, that was super fun. These books are all from the 60s, I think it was. Uh, let's see. And then... This isn't mine from my childhood, but it reminds me of one I had. It's on a shelf I can't get to right now. Um, I had a lot of these little just play toys. Um, and my mom grew up in the Depression and didn't, doesn't have any or didn't ever have any of her toys because they were always handed down to her siblings. So she made sure to keep all of mine, which is a blessing and a curse. Um, so yeah. This I found at Dollar Tree a few years ago, and it just was super cute. I liked the pink and the blue and the purple, and it reminded me of toys I had in the past. So there's that. Um, getting into my preteen years, strawberry shortcake was a huge thing. Oh, there's a hole so you can smell her. Um, this is actually a replication of the first Strawberry Shortcake doll that came out. I think that was in 1979. So yeah, I, I had like all the Strawberry Shortcake dolls. I collected them. They're in a box somewhere in my house. So again, something that my mom wouldn't let me let go of. And I'm happy about that now. And I can't believe how much she still smells like the original and also, if you like the smell of strawberry shortcake, this candle, it's from the Dollar Tree. It's a strawberry one. It smells very similar to her, which I enjoy. So there's that. Um, also, during that time, the Care Bears were really popular. Um, these are not old ones. I think these are from the 90s. Oh, my puppy got her. Gosh darn it, Sadie. But, yeah, they don't move. They're not movable. I didn't have these. I had, they had little key rings where they were sitting. That's what I collected. They're somewhere. Um, and then rainbows. I don't think you could have grown up in the era that I did without liking rainbows. 
So there's that. Um, yeah. And then when I was like in junior high, um, Def Leppard and Kiss were a huge part of my life just because of my older brother. Uh, he would pick me up from school. Um, it was like a mile and a half from our house to the school, I think it was. So he would always play either the Def Leppard album or the Kiss album, and I actually could sing along to the flip side, which everybody thought was crazy back in the day. But yeah, we listened to these albums all day, every day. So my music tastes range. I have the weirdest playlist, according to people that I know. I have classical music on it. I have country. I have, like, 50s. I have, like hard rock, I have country, I have pop, I have everything. Not a lot of rap, I have a few songs, because that came out when I was growing up, but yeah, so Def Leppard, definitely a big part of my childhood. Um, let's see what else. I'm gonna pull this over. Um, fancy, fancy dishes and cut glass are a huge part of my life. Um, my mom had teacups in the China Hutch all through my growing up. It wasn't until I got to be an adult that I told her to change it. And cut glass, she collected, like if we went to a sale or something and she found a unique piece of cut glass, she would buy it. And now she passed that on to me, so I do that as well. Um, also love sparkly jewelry. And uh, we'll just end with this one. Uh, Star Wars. Princess Leia was my favorite. I had the Barbie doll version of her, which was great. And the Ewoks, this little dude was my favorite. I forget his name. I actually had the original, um, action figure of him here on my desk, but I think it got moved somewhere else. I'm not seeing it. So yeah, Star Wars was a big part of my life. Um, I just thought this was funny to have a, a Christmas sweater on Darth Vader with the Death Star. And it's a flashlight. So that's kind of cool. But uh, let's see. Basically, I love all different combinations of colors and fabrics. Um, my quilts, um, you have like the, the calico kind of quilts, you have the 1930s prints kind of quilts, you have the red, white, and blue kind of quilts, um, you have like brighter colors, but not like neon-y, and then you have the super bright funky, like my purple and orange quilt, so I've made one of each. I will continue to make all the kinds. I don't um, have a particular favorite that I only buy that. Um, yeah, it's I have a pretty wide range of what I like. So it makes it fun and it also makes it uh, makes me have a lot of stuff. Oh, one other thing. Y'all remember these scratch and sniff stickers? Uh this company uh, came out, the original company came out with this scratch, tongue twister, the original scratch and st sniff stinky stickers have re-released all of the, all of the ones that they have. So here you can see, look for the star to distinguish our retro stinky stickers from those printed in the 1980s. So this one has a star, so you know it's a new one. But they ha they are exactly the same as they were back in the 80s. It is freaking hilarious. Um, I have the Very Good, and I also have the Taco Ole. Uh, I was telling my friends about them. They have, a, have them at Larson's Mercantile in Clear Lake, Iowa. I don't know where else they have them. I have just found them there. So my friend bought the Poppin' Good... She bought like four, so I got a couple of each of hers as well. She said I liked the roller skate, but I forgot to get it. And like the 
grass one cracked me up. And I remember they had a skunk one too, which was just crazy. But yeah, these are super fun and I'm happy to have them back in my life. So there's that. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap it up with that. So those are the things from the past that inspire me. And I hope that y'all have a great day. Bye.